how much ether would you need to be able to comfortably retire by the year 2030? In this video, I'm gonna break that question down based off of four different valuation models for what ETH the asset could be worth by 2030. And I've selected four of the most recent and also credible valuation models for ETH to reflect the fact that the price of the asset has taken a major nosedive over the past year or so. Now for starters, what is the target? How much money would we need to be able to comfortably retire by the year 2030? For the purposes of this video, I'm gonna run two different scenarios. One is what I'm gonna call lean retirement and the other is what I'm gonna call luxury retirement. Now, in the case of lean retirement, I'm using some figures that are coming from the U.S. Department of Statistics, and these figures are based off of the average living expenses in the U.S. adjusted for inflation and also assuming that you'd spend 30 years in retirement, which is well above the average of 18 years. So what we get in the lean retirement case is a target of around $1.5 million, including a 15% contingency, and based off of this, you'd be able to invest that $1.5 million and live for 30 years by spending approximately 90 thousand US dollars per year. And for the second scenario, which is what I'm calling luxury retirement, just triple that. So the target is actually around $4.5 million. And that's assuming that you'd be able to live for 30 years, spending just under 300,000 US dollars per year. And with that amount of money, I think you'd be able to live a very comfortable lifestyle in retirement. So with those two targets, let's now try to figure out how many ETH tokens you would need to retire by 2030. So I'm going to start at the bear case and then work our way up through the base case, the bull case, and the super bull case. And for each scenario, you'll see that the amount of ETH you'd need to retire goes down and also the cost to acquire those tokens at today's prices also goes down by a lot. And the final scenario, the Super Bowl scenario, if that actually comes to pass, you might be surprised by just how little ETH you would need to actually make it by 2030. Now, one little caveat or disclaimer that I'll say here is that most people providing price predictions or valuation models for Ether, the asset, don't tend to come out on the bearish side of things. And of course, there is an off chance that there is a black swan risk with an asset like Ether because the Ethereum network could shut down one day if there's a major contract bug, some sort of major issue with the code or something else along those lines. But with that out of the way, let's talk about the bear case. And this one is interesting. I used two very credible sources for this valuation model. The first is the Archetype Fund, and the second is one of the core ETH researchers, Justin Drake. Now, the Archetype Fund is a crypto venture fund, venture capitalist, but they actually produce a decent amount of solid research that they publish for free on their website. And they have this one valuation model where they break down why they think either the asset is going to appreciate by a pretty significant significant margin and also they break down some numbers. Now I'm not going to get too much into the specifics of this but basically they're saying that smart contract adoption is going to drive a lot of user traffic to Ethereum, that Ethereum's moat over other layer one blockchains especially when it comes to general purpose blockchains with smart contract compatibility is really significant, that there'll be a major wave of new games built on the Ethereum blockchain, that web3 including music and digital art and NFTs and all those things will end up being mainly built on Ethereum and that Ethereum will be able to capture some of the monetary premium that has traditionally gone towards other assets, including Bitcoin and gold. And after accounting for all that fundamental analysis, they've also factored in things like the supply growth or actual supply decrease, the fee burn, which means the amount of ETH that's burned as people conduct transactions on the network, also the revenue that's being paid out to miners and the staking rewards. And they've put all of this into a giant spreadsheet, which you can see down here, which essentially is saying that by the year 2030, if you stake your ETH tokens, it could be worth anywhere between $13,000 and $26,000. And so for the purposes of our bear case, I've actually taken a midpoint between those two coordinates, which is actually much closer to the bottom end of the spectrum and plugged in 15,000 US dollars. And this is also backed up by another valuation model from Justin Drake, who is one of the Ethereum researchers, who's also produced a pretty rudimentary valuation model where he says his best guess for what ETH the asset could be worth by 2030 is around 13,000 US dollars. And so if this valuation model comes true and ETH is worth $15,000 by 2030, then in the lean retirement scenario, you would need just under 100 ETH to retire, which at today's prices cost $190,000 and in the luxury retirement scenario you would need 300 ETH to retire, 306, which at today's prices would cost you around $585,000. Now that may seem like a lot, but you'll see as we move up through the different valuation models, the amount of ETH required to be able to actually retire 
goes down by a significant margin, which also means that your potential cost to buy that ETH today goes down as well. But let's move now to the base case valuation model. And this one again is backed up by two different sources. In this case, we've got capex.com, which accounts for the fact that ETH really didn't have a good year in 2022. And a lot of people thought that the merge would have a major positive impact on the price. However, they are still suggesting that by 2030, the price of ETH could be around 23,000 to $28,000. And then we've also got the Cryptopolitan website, which has a similar price prediction for the same time frame. So you can see from this chart here, they're suggesting that by 2030, the average price of ETH could be around $24,000. And if we go down to the chart here, you can see that actually they're saying the min price would be around 25 and the max price could be around 33. So if we take an average again of all these different predictions and sort of err on the side of being on the lower end of things, then we can plug in $25,000 for the price of ETH in the base case. And if this situation came to pass, then in the lean retirement case, you'd only need 60 ETH, which at today's prices costs around 114,000, or in the luxury retirement case, you would need 184 ETH, which today would cost you around $350,000. Now again, that is a lot of money, but just you wait. The next valuation model is the bull case. And this valuation model is coming from a survey of 50 fintech specialists that I found in this Australian website, Cointree. Now, according to the survey of 50 experts, including CEOs and people that work for mining companies and university professors, the average prediction from these people is that the price of ETH by 2030 could be around 67,000 Australian dollars. And if we convert that into US dollars, it's around 45,000. So if we go back over to our spreadsheet and plug that figure in, you can see that in our lean retirement case, you would need 33 ETH, which costs around $63,000 today. And in the luxury retirement case, you would need 102 ETH, which today would cost you around $195,000. And now we're getting into the realm of what I'd say is pretty feasible for your average everyday person, just to acquire 33 ETH over the course of the next seven years so that by 2030, you have that amount. I'd say that's actually pretty doable so long as the price of the asset doesn't go up too fast. But the final model, the super bull valuation, blows everything else completely out of the water. And this is coming from ARK Invest's Big Ideas 2023 report, which is a brand new report as of a month or two ago that goes into what ARK Invest thinks are the most promising sectors for the next five to 10 years. And of course, cryptocurrency features heavily in it and Ethereum specifically also features heavily. Now, according to this report, ARK Invest thinks that the price of Bitcoin could exceed $1.48 million per BTC by 2030. And they have also a major section of the support dedicated to smart contracts, specifically Ethereum, where they talk about its utilization and the fact that the network is expanding. They also talk about DeFi and how that's a very promising area. And they also go into things like gaming and NFTs. Now, they don't provide a specific price prediction here. However, if we took the current ETH BTC ratio of around 0.067 and applied that to the price prediction that they've made for Bitcoin by 2030, then that would yield a price per ETH well over $100,000. And in fact, in some other interviews, and publications, Kathy Wood, the CEO of ARK Invest, has suggested that she expects ETH to have a market cap of over $20 trillion by 2030, and that they actually think that ETH could appreciate in value more so than Bitcoin can. And so if this pie-in-the-sky valuation model comes true and the market cap of Ethereum exceeds $20 trillion by 2030, then the price per ETH would be well over $150,000 US. And if that came to pass, then in the lean retirement scenario, you would only need 10 ETH to retire, which costs less than $20,000 US dollars today. And even in the luxury retirement scenario, you would only need 30 ETH to retire, which costs less than $60,000 today. So there we have it, four different valuation models and four different potential targets for retirement based on how much ETH you might need to be able to just sit back and relax by the year 2030. Now, of course, I think it's important to say that once you move into retirement, a lot of people suggest you should shift your assets from growth focused and potentially risk on assets into things that produce cash flow and that don't actually 
uh, move in value that much. You don't want volatility in retirement, you want stability. However, I still think this is an interesting exercise in 2023 because we get to see a lot of different predictions for what people think ETH could be worth over the next five to 10 years. And also we get a sense of whether or not there's still an opportunity to build generational wealth with an asset like ETH. So I hope you find this video useful or interesting. And if you wanna see more content about retirement and personal finance, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you later.